It's okay, guys. There's over a thousand people on the channel, so it's going to happen. But you know me, I'm stubborn and I'm going to get back through. So even though these uh, wind speeds are dying down, that's good. Um, we still have real concern with that storm surge, guys. So do not become complacent. Once this storm passes you with the wind and the rain, stay put. That storm surge is going to come in and it is going to cause another level of chaos. So don't become complacent. Stay vigilant. You guys are doing an amazing job. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Just hang in there. It looks like uh, for the middle of Florida that it's looking better and better um, as the minutes tick by. So hang in there. Uh, Coco is definitely in the cone of uh, danger zone if you can evacuate. Um, anything in the southernmost peninsula needs to definitely um, move north and central or west at this point. Um, should that track hold true? If you're in the Miami-Dade area at all, um, you need to come inland. Come north, come central, come west. At this point, the way the track is agreeing, um, those are very viable, pretty safe options at this point. Stay off of 75, um, stay off of 95 if you can, because both of those options are going to put you in a parking lot, which can be deadly in a storm like this. Manatee County is the next county for this storm. It's looking like a low to mid-level category two. It is losing strength, but um, picking up speed, it's gone from 14 to 16 miles per hour. The eye wall looks like um, it's going to be towards the center east. Um, and as far as uh, coastal areas, of course, the storm surge is still of concern one to two hours post the uh, inclement weather that you're experiencing now. To the person in Carrollwood that's asking about the transformers popping, um, Tico and FPNL are actually running some surges to get the electricity running north. So you're going to start to see those surges. You're going to want to unplug um, any major appliances that you're utilizing because those uh, surges can definitely damage it. But don't worry, that is totally normal. Um, I've not seen anything from the EOC coming out about transformers uh, blowing up at this point. Um, again, that's just what I've seen so far, but that popping was something that happened in South Florida as well, and it was completely normal and advised by all electric uh, personnel that that is normal for this situation. Marion County updated uh, on the keys. The upper keys are open to residents in emergency rescue only. Um, you have to have an ID. The lower keys um, is doing okay, better than what was originally reported. All 42 bridges are intact. There were two washes, uh, washouts about mile marker 33 and 37. There is a lot of structural damage down in Key West and uh, where it came in, uh, direct hit, but um, they've gone door to door about 90% of the houses right now. There are zero fatalities. Originally it was reported about 30, but there are zero reported fatalities at this point. The Publix in Key West has opened on a limited basis. Uh, Red Cross is in there. Water stations, ice stations are set up. So they are doing exceptionally well considering the circumstances. Okay guys, I'm sorry. My voice is absolutely going out on me. My dogs are singing me the song of their people and I need some sleep. So I'm gonna leave this in the capable hands of William and the others. Please listen to them. Hang in there, guys. Don't panic. As Dennis Phillips said, rule number seven is still in effect. Do not panic unless you see him panic or unless you see Jim Cantori from the Weather Channel in your local area. That's a good time to panic. But other than that, hang in there, guys. I will be back in the morning probably around 7 a.m., which is about eight hours from now. But knowing me and my insomnia, it'll be a little bit earlier. But hang in there. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.